Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here in our capital city outside <laughs> of the Connecticut Science Center, joined by Eva Ryle. We're outside for a reason. Yes, um, we are talking sparkler science today. So, of course, we want to be outside, we want adult supervision, um, all the proper safety precautions. They, they can be dangerous. Um, but I thought we would talk about some really cool science behind them, you know, in case you have some left over or, you know, just for the next 4th of July. All right, sounds good. Yeah, so we can get these started here. Ooh, let's see. There we go. Ooh. All righty. I don't know if mine's going to light. There, there we, we go. go. Excellent. I'm going to try to light A little here. transfer. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. Let's see if it gets started. So we'll see how those sparks coming there off right now, right? Um, now those sparks, some of them, I don't know, are getting pretty close to our skin, our clothes. Those sparks are about, can be up to 3,000 degrees, which is hotter than the temperature you need to melt iron. Okay. Now, even though those sparks are hitting our skin a little bit, right, maybe our clothes, I'm not burning. Right. <laughs> I don't know about you. Um, so what's going on, even though these have an incredibly high temperature, they don't have a very high thermal energy. Okay. So thermal energy relies on temperature, but also mass. And so those sparks are so small, they don't carry a lot of energy, um, and so that heat's going to dissipate really quickly. So again, they stand, can still cause some damage, that's why we want to be careful, but not quite as much as like a bigger chunk And that's of why metal. we're able to hold them. Yes. Because it has the low thermal energy. Low thermal energy, but still a very high temperature. Um, so you can also think of this like, if you've ever taken a baking sheet and aluminum foil out of the oven Right, before, right, right. Um, if you wait like five minutes, you could touch that aluminum foil, the heat dissipates pretty quickly, but the baking sheet you shouldn't touch for a while, right? That yeah. has a higher thermal energy, so we want to be much more careful with that. Okay. So, still something to be careful about, but that's why, you know, when those sparks hit your skin, um, you don't really feel it. And why we're able, to, again, to hold them and still be safe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't hold fireworks, <laughs> yes. right? It's a little different. So. All right. So, um... Awesome. So if you have some of these lingering, laying around, you know, you have a little bit more idea about the science behind them. Exactly. Yeah, definitely That's something right. to check out. All right. And we want to let everyone know about something happening next weekend here inside the Science Center. Yeah, we're really excited about this. Um, next Saturday starts Latino Conservation Week, um, and we are actually the kickoff event this year. So we have all kinds of really cool workshops around um, conservation in our labs. We'll have uh, programming from some of our educators as well as some of our community partners. So it should be a really fun day here at the Science Center. Right, and done, it's bilingual. Yes. And there are multiple sessions on multiple topics. So you can sign up ctsciencecenter.org mm -hmm. for the one that may interest you and maybe more than one that interests yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. And then CT Free Summer at the Museum also is ongoing. So you can come yeah. visit the Science Center, everything else it has to offer for free. <laughs> it's going to be a good weekend. It's yeah, big, <laughs> sounds great. great. <laughs> <laughs> Eva, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.